I did something real foolish recently that has kind of awoken me to a whole lot of things. Number one, reminded me to slow down and don't take things for granted. And uh, as hard as it is to talk about it, I want to talk about it. I want to make this kind of a life lesson, not just for me, but for other folks who find themselves caught up in foolish mistakes. Mistakes that could have, it, it could have been really bad, y'all. It could have been really bad for, for my babies. So bear with me as I try to work myself through the video. And then I just want to say thank you for, the, for, for grace. Thank you for just grace by understanding that things happen and by forgiving folks when they make foolish, foolish mistakes. I think we've all been there. Y'all join me and let me talk about probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done. In all the years I've been doing this, this is by far the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I'm so blessed that uh, God gave me a second chance to make things right here. And I will say this, I will never make that mistake again. I'll make plenty of mistakes. Y'all join me on today's video. I was making a video a couple of days ago where I was doing some deworming using a brand new type of dewormer, one I'd never used before. And uh, I had to measure some stuff out. I had to measure out the uh, amount of ingredients to put into the dewormer. And I went in and I grabbed a scale. So instead what I did was went into Jamie's garden area and I found an antique scale that she had and what I thought I was doing was measuring out pounds of this new type of dewormer. I never looked close enough to realize that what I was measuring was actually kilograms. Uh, you know this of the cat dewormer. food can actually worked out to be Quite a pretty ingenuitive idea as well. I, boy, I'm on a roll today. I am just on a roll today. So it looks like a heaping portion of this might be a pound. We are right there at a pound. And so what I'm gonna do is make sure that for every large cow, who I s assume weighs about a thousand pounds, will get one large container like that mixed with their grains today and and as it be i ended up pretty much overdosing every one of my bulls my heifers and my calves i gave them way more of this dewormer than what was called and it set me on quite the panic. I was in quite the panic. Uh, I didn't even realize it until the next morning. I'm sitting there reading comments on my video. You know that the videos are always posted a day, sometimes two days after we make them. And so I start reading some comments and then I start getting some messages of people uh, pointing out to me that I measured wrong. So just one example, I gave him what I thought was two pounds of this dewormer end up when you convert pounds and kilograms, he ended up getting almost five pounds of the dewormer instead of the two pounds, which is what his body weight calls for. These guys all got about a pound each. Well, what I thought was a pound each, but when you convert one pound to kilogram, it ended up, it was one kilogram what I gave them, which is actually 2.2 .2 pounds. So they got double the dose. And then uh, even though the toxicity in a dewormer is, is, is minor, it, uh, it scared me 
it scared me reading some of the side effects and then realizing that the type of dewormer that I gave them was a mild dewormer. It's a new one. It's new to their system. So I was hoping that whatever parasites would not already be, you know, tolerant to it. It would be able to kill all the parasites. But I never in my ever meant to imagine I would ever overdose them so heavily. And so talking to the vet, doing lots of reading, I found out that I was blessed in the fact that the type of dewormer was not going to affect them greatly. There had been lots of studies done of, of people who overdose on ivermectin, not people, but animals who've been overdosed on ivermectin and other dewormers could have been fatal. It could have been fatal to these babies. And I says, thank you, God. Thank you, God, that the brand that I used was not one that was going to be one that was going to have lasting effects or even take their lives. Now, I'm sitting here three days later. Today's three days later. And I'm finally at a point now where I can kind of relax. The animals are eating good. Everything's fine. Besides a few flies that are out and about today, everything's fine. Um, they were a little bit lethargic the day after. Let's just walk over right now. Look at my girls. I'm going to feed them too. They were a little bit lethargic the day after the dewormer. And it, that scared me. The vet gave me all kinds of things that might could happen. But guys, there's not. They don't. They can't come out and inject them with something to. There's there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. You can't put your. Their fin, you, know, you can't put your finger down their throat. And have them cough it up. And then she said. By the time that I had informed her of the mistake I'd made, by then that dewormer had already made its way through all four of their stomachs. So there's nothing you could do at that point. But here we are today and everybody's fine. And Lester has learned a such a valuable life lesson just to slow down, just to slow down and be more careful. Think about what I'm doing, especially when it comes to the life and the well-being of your babies. Because it's not their fault, y'all. We're just trying to do the best that we can to give them the best life possible. And I tell you what, to know that I was the one who was that close to have, could have really hurt these babies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to them. I'm sorry to you. I was talking to Daniel, Jason, and Dutch. And I says, never again, never again will I rag on any other farmer, internet or real, for foolish mistakes. Because what I made was the biggest mistake. And, and, and if they all want to come at me, if every internet farmer wants to come at me now and and talk about me for what I did that was so dumb that by all means, I deserve it. But I will say that I will never make that kind of mistake again. But how scary is that, huh? And then to realize that that same kind of thing can happen to people. You know, there are people that could do the exact same thing, accidentally overdosing on things without, you know, because you don't read careful enough. But as of right now, all the babies are fine. And I've already kicked myself in the rear enough. And, and, I, and I will say this, I still got my fingers crossed and, and I continue to say prayers because I don't know what kind of lingering and long-term effects that said that um, any kind of lethargic behavior, lots of drooling, uh, not you know, you know, being a little bit wobbly on their feet, is about the most you might would see from any of them. And to be honest, I never saw any of those things. She says in the most extreme cases, it could lead to blindness, and then. Ultimately, there's, in real extreme cases, it could lead to death. 
How scary is that? You know, how scary is that? Anyway, I come to you today very humbled. And just, just I just want to say that I'm sorry. And maybe that was God's way of saying, hey, you know what? You sit here and talk all high and mighty. Like you're all high and mighty. And looky here. Look how, look how, look how. I'm sorry, okay? I promise I won't do that ever again. I don't think Gracie's going to forgive me. She's just trying to look at everyone else, see if they're going to forgive me or not. She's thinking about it. She's like, should we trust him? Should we ever eat anything he offers us ever again? Marilyn's like, I'm just going to stick with this hay. I don't even need any more grains of his. So I'll just eat this hay over here and be fine. <laughs> Jolene won't even look at me. Jolene, just don't side eye me, baby. Baby, I'm so okay. Thank you, Jolene. I do still love you, and I hope that you love me so much. And you'll forgive me. Friends, everyone is fine. I think that here we are on our third day. I think we're going to be okay. And they're all going to come over here and let me know that they forgive me. They don't like it, but they do forgive me. Thank you all. Thank y'all for giving me another chance, okay? Thank y'all for second chances and third chances. Okay, fourth or fifth chances. You know what? Who can't? Who's really counting about the chances? Who's counting about all of these chances, huh? Not me. Not you, right? Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Yeah, something like that.